In this video, we're going to cover what to do if you're using row flow to control hydraulic motors and the system won't plant. First thing you want to check is that the master plant switch is on and the three section plant switches are on. You also want to check when you're moving that you have speed shown in this upper right hand corner. If you don't have speed, then you need to refer to the video on how to set up your GPS system to output GPS to the 2020 or check the connections for the GPS system to the 2020. The next thing we want to check is that we have a command population set. We'll go to the row flow button here for the control page. If I'm using a manual rate, I need a value in this white section here. That's the value I'm actually going to try to plan. If that is blank, pick one of the set points in the middle of the screen and it will fill into this white section. If you're using a prescription, then that prescription rate should be right here. If you have no rate here, then you have no rate in that prescription for the area of the field you're in. Again, a manual rate must have a value in this box here. I can change these population set points by this button here if I want something different than is available in the middle of the screen. Now I'm going to go back to the home page. The next thing I want to check is that my hydraulics for the hydraulic motor are engaged. Uh, potentially the hoses got hooked up in reverse order and the hydraulics are engaged in the incorrect direction for the way the hoses are connected. You also want to physically check the hoses connection from to the tractor from the planter. It's possible that one of the hoses may have come disconnected from the tractor. The next step would be to turn the swath switch here on the cab control module to the off position and try to plant. If it will then plant, then you have an incorrect boundary assigned for that field, or there's previous coverage for that field uh, for the area that you're in, and the system is swapping off. If you want to delete the coverage map, you would go to Setup and the Field, select the field that you're in, and then the Delete Coverage Map. Know that when you do this, any area that you've already planted for that field, that coverage map will be deleted. Not the planning information, but the coverage map itself. The next thing to check if you're still having trouble is to go to the Diagnose page. I'll get there by going to Setup and then Diagnose. And then the Row Flow button is the one that I'm interested in. Here I want to make sure that the lift switch says lowered. If it says lifted when the planter's down, then I need to recalibrate my lift switch. I also want to check this page to make sure that there's not items that are red. Here you can see my motor drive is red, so I'm not communicating with that. So I would need to troubleshoot why my system's not communicating with my hydraulic motor. If you're still having trouble, contact your local Precision Planning Premier dealer or us here at product support. Thank you.